Hi all, and welcome back to my channel for part two of the magnifying dock tutorial. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it in the title card in the upper right hand corner there. So let's continue. As explained before, if you just want to create this reactionary um, kind of animation, all you need are those three lines of code. But if you want to finish the docs, here's what we're going to do next. The original layer that we made before is going to be the leader of this doc sequence. And basically we're going to create a chain effect. We're going to take this layer and we're going to duplicate it. And I'm going to name this layer follower. Make sure that the follower layer is above the original layer. Um, order is important here. To have these icons now grow, but not overlap, we're going to need to link the position property to the original layer. To do this, we're gonna create an expression in the position property of the follower layer. So this part only needs two lines of code. To break it down, we're first gonna create a variable called layer below. So we're gonna write layer below equals this comp dot layer, open parentheses, close parentheses. And inside we're gonna write this layer, comma, one. And we're gonna close that statement out with a semicolon. So just to give you a quick visual of what I mean as far as index positions are concerned with layers, the current layer that we're on is at an index position of zero. The layer above, is at an index position of negative one. And the layer below is at an index position of one. The final line of code that we have to write is an array that will alter the layer's position in relation to the layer below it. So we're gonna have square brackets and inside we're gonna write layer below dot position. And then we're gonna have another set of square brackets and write in zero. And then we're gonna add that to layer below dot scale. And we're gonna have another set of square brackets and write in zero and then multiply it by one. Next, we're gonna have a comma. We're gonna keep the Y position exactly the same. So we just plainly state in the array layer below dot position one. So for the beginning part of the statement, we are taking the X position of the layer below and we're adding it to the X position of the scale property and then multiplying it by one. Now again, to go back to the index reference, when you're looking at arrays for properties, the X position is at an index number of zero and the Y position is at an index position of one. Now the follower icon will not overlap the original icon. In this case, I had to change it a bit and I actually multiplied it by 0 0.9, but depending on the size of your icon, you can adjust how much space is needed. What's great about this expression is now you can just duplicate this follower layer and it'll respond to the layer below it in the chain reaction. This will make sure that your icons will have the same amount of space between them, no matter how many you make. This is why I said in the beginning that order is important. If you were to put this follower layer below the original layer, it's not calling anything. There's no layer below it. So you just have to make sure that, you know, if it's not working, just make sure that your layers are in the correct order. And there you have it, a magnifying dock. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new and I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. If you want to learn more about After Effects expressions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and for more content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.